in terms of art, what do you want to show with this exhibition? There are a whole range of incredible expressions of connections with ancestors, with genealogies, with histories. Those ancestors, though, are not just revered figures in the past, their living presences today, the way they inspire people is reflected in performance, in architecture, art on the body, many kinds of work. Uh, it's good. <laughs> um, and a lot of these art forms are incredibly dynamic. They do many, many different things. People think of oceanic art as being just sculpture, <laughs> but it is also design and movement. Every, in everyday life, right? Yes. That's striking. Um, yes. And um, it is not just specific um, genres in one place. It is something that extends into many practices. Um, things that women make and wear, things you use in the garden, um, weapons that you use to fight with, all have this incredible aesthetic elaboration mana, spiritual power, um, and that connection with history and ancestors. But probably in France we stop to André Breton about Océanie, thinking about Océanie. So what is new that we learn here? I think we learn that um, these works have all kinds of distinct values and distinct stories that are connected uh, with them and we have to listen to people from the Pacific to to get those stories those stories are um, alive today and relate to issues like care for the environment climate change the autonomy of cultures the need to respect specific cultures so we have to listen to the respect of nature of the ritual objects to conclude yes Yes. Monsieur? <laughs> um, I, exhibitions like this often um, perplex people because there's a lot they want to know and they feel like uh, they need experts to explain it for them. And my sense is that these uh, works actually in, embody um, the past in their physical presence in the gallery today. Yes, that's true, that's very strong. Yeah. It's super strong. And what is your necklace about? <laughs> uh, this is a, um, a, a, a gift that was given to me by a Samoan um, friend at the uh, opening of the Royal Academy. So ah. it's, uh... Merci. Merci. <laughs>